Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm sorry to bother y'all with this, man, but uh, it's just kind of been on my mind, you know, all day. Just got off work, just pulled up at the house. Um, just got off work. Um, <laughs> this has been something, this is something that's just kind of been on my mind all day. Uh, and it's not just about the Cowboy, I mean, about the um, Eagle game, losing to the Eagles yesterday. Uh, that was an ass whooping. Um, th that was an outright slaughtering. Um, okay. I've, and I hate to sound like a broken record, but it feels like that's what I'm doing because I'm saying the same thing in every video. It is just like a broken record. It is sad. Um, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I've been a Cowboy fan for a long time, um, almost 40 years. And um, I have don't know how to feel and how to think right now a as a Cowboy fan. Um, I don't know what I'm cheering for. And you're probably asking, well, what do you mean by that? What are you cheering for? Oh, it's football. It's, you know, let, let, me, let me explain. Uh, it's hard to be a Cowboy fan right now. Um, because for 22 years, um, and, and, and I'm not going to say 22 years because that was the last time we won a Super Bowl. Um, the teams that we had, the team that we had after maybe two, three years after we still had, you know, a couple of crafty veterans left over from that 95 Super Bowl team, but they were aging. They were getting old, getting injured, um, you know, Eggman, Irvin, Emmett, Dion, Moose Johnson, Novacek, all those Charles Haley, all those guys were their time was kind of passing them by. Uh, obviously, Dion went on to play with different teams, you know, and et cetera. He still had a lot of career left in him. But um, the other guys, you know, Darren Woodson kind of stuck around, uh, Moose Johnson, uh, those guys, um, they were aging. And it was a new era of football. The, two, the millennium era was coming in. And um, I I'm not going to go through a history lesson, but I kind of have to, to kind of try to piece this together and figure out what it means and what we're, what we're in for as Cowboy Nation. Um, it's really, really tough uh, to be a Cowboy fan, especially after that ass whooping last night um, that the Eagles gave to us. Um, but I I'm just, I'm not solely making this video about that. This is like Shango and like Mark Holmes have said, you know, in their videos. This is deeper than that. This is deeper than Dak. This is deeper than Zeke. This is deeper than how how good, how great we were last year. This is deeper than this five and five season that we got going this year. This is deeper than all that. This goes back to Jerry Jones, front office, coaching staff. The, the 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 root of the problem. There is a root of the problem that we're having right now. And, you know, everybody, oh, Dak had a bad game. Oh, so-and-so. Oh, Dez is not catch. Oh, don't. you know, everybody's so quick to blame somebody because that's all they know how to do. Um, Going back to, I, I've been a Cowboy fan for almost 40 years. And this is, is I've never seen it like this. You know, we've we've been through our, you know, when Eggman retired because of concussions and injuries, uh, that era from in between Eggman and, and Romo, we've seen so many quarterbacks come and go. Um, I, I've, I remember being a kid and watching the Cowboys in the eighties and, um, how bad we were and how Jerry Jones came and took over the team and, and he was all about winning. That was a different Jerry back then. Uh, I guess it was new. The, the experience was new. Um, the owner, the experience of being an owner was new to him, obviously. And before he could figure out that, before the salesman and the money-making part took over his brain of wanting to win, that was a, a decent Jerry Jones back then. We were... He brought guys, he brought Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson did the recruiting, you know. He was the mastermind behind everything. 
And, um, you know, we did the Her Herschel Walker trade and brought in talent. Um, J J uh, Jimmy Johnson was a psychology major, so he knew how to how to coach players and on and off the field and get into their heads and do what it took to win ball games and win Super Bowls, not just win ball games, come become a winning organization real fast and win Super Bowls real fast. It took a year. It took two years. Two. Well, I'm going to say three because uh, 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 89 was the turning point. Uh, Jerry Jones took over the team in 89. So I'm going to say 89, 90, 91. It took three years. It takes owners decades to win Super Bowls. It took Jerry and Jimmy three years to put a team together, go through the ups and downs, win a Super Bowl, back-to-back -back Super Bowls, you know, whatever. Um, you know, and I remember seeing that transitional period and, um, and it unfolding into becoming a, a, a dynasty, America's team once again, as we were called in the 70s. Um, you know, my dad used to watch the, you know, my dad and granddad were diehard, you know, cowboy fans, and they would holler and yell at the screen, at the screen, and just like I do. And, you know, as a kid, I would watch and, and, and learn the game and, and, and fall in love with America's team, with the cowboys, just like my dad and my granddad and, on, and so on and so on. Um, you know, there was no social media back then. You know, all the parents in the neighborhood were cowboy fans and you can hear them. Uh, they, they would have their screen doors open and you can hear them. Yeah. And celebrating every time somebody would score my dad and, and the neighbor behind us or the neighbor next door would, would hug. And yeah, that was a good play. You know, talk about that play and talk about him and talk about Irvin Eggman or whatever. It was just happy times. This was before social media. This was for this was before uh, the, all the ignorance and the trolls. They weren't born yet. You know, they didn't come until uh, computers really got, you know, social media really hit the scene. I say like they weren't born until like late to late 90s, early 2000s, you know, so <laughs> we didn't have to worry about trolls and, 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 and shit talkers back then. You get what I'm saying? You could enjoy a game, you know, talk about it. And go on about your business. There was no social media back then. Um, I, you know, I remember winning those Super Bowls and skipping school to go to the parades. And, and, and it was such a beautiful time, such a wonderful time, a wonderful experience. I was glad that I was happy to experience that. And I feel sorry for the young people today that were born in the late 90s and the early 2000s. They don't know that, that, are, that are cowboy fans. They don't know how it feels to... Uh, for your team to be in a Super Bowl and win the games, uh, to have to, to to be a part of a winning organization, they don't know how it feels. All they know is the mediocre eight and eight, seven and nine, one and done in the playoffs. That's all they know. God bless them. That's all they know. And the point I'm getting at is, I I, I just want to I want to know where the ball was dropped with winning, because everything that you do. Everything about you. You see, I'm a perfectionist. I like to win. You know, we can say, oh, well, you know, so-and-so had a bad game. And or, or, or the reason why we lost it because Zeke is out or Tyron Smith is out or, or you know, Dez isn't catching. Or, you know, we can blame so many people. But other teams have lost, lost key players as well. You know, New England has lost key players. Philadelphia has lost key players. They're able to adjust, make adjustments, and have the personnel and the depth and the backup to, to still win ball games. That's that's the difference between a winner and a loser. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Cowboys, once our guys are out, we're done. If one guy's out, we're done. That's it. It changes the whole mood of the team. And it's 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 very sad that we have been so mediocre for so long. We've been mediocre since 95, since we won that last Super Bowl, since the Irvin, Eggman, Emmett, Dion, that era. We've been a mediocre team. And Jerry's okay with that. Now I'm getting to the point to where, what am I cheering for? Because if you're okay with being a mediocre and you know the fan base is going to support, you know, see, he got us by the string. He know we're going to support. He know we're going to still go out and buy 
Let me show you. My wife bought these for me. These are these are car mats. Dallas Cowboy. Car mats. See what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we, we're dumb enough to go out and buy these things because we love and support our team. You get what I'm saying? Uh, jerseys, keychains, all this stuff to keep money in Jerry's pocket. Even though we're losing, even though we're mediocre, you know, we're giving our all. You know, I, you know, I'm not the only, you know, YouTube. You got Mark Holmes, you got Shango, Lazy Loke, all these guys. We we work hard at at making videos and supporting our team, and and, and taking time out of our day. I'm sitting in my car. I ain't even went in the house yet. I'm I'm taking time out of my day to talk about the Cowboys because I love the sport. I love the sport first. Then comes the oh. I'm in Dallas. I live in the DFW Metroplex. I'm going to support my team. I've been doing this since 1980. It's time. It's, it's been 22 years since we won a Super Bowl. 22. Now, when is it going to click for us? How long are we going to, you know, and, and bless bless our hearts. You know, you got people like Shango has a man cave and it's it beautiful. I, I like to I like to watch his videos just to look at his man cave. Then you got you got Mark Holmes. He's got a nice looking man cave. You know, I'm I'm working on mine. But you know, these guys, we, we spend our hard earned money for this stuff. You get what I'm saying? Take time out of our day to support our team, to make videos for you guys. If you love us or hate us, still make videos. And, and and bless Mark, he got on a plane to and, and bought tickets and, and paid for parking and, and whatever else he paid for. It's his business, but, you know, hard earned, hard earned money to fly, to come see you, support these guys. And this is what we get? Really? Really? It's, 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 it's becoming redundant. Like, seriously, I, t I talked to so many people today, men and women. To say, oh man, I just turned that game off. I, I went to bed. Third quarter, I was out. I, I everybody, everybody I talked to today, they, they're a the cowboy fan. Oh, I just turned that shit off. Oh fuck, fuck, forget, forget, I ain't want to see that. And then now, eventually, it's gonna turn into, oh, I ain't watching them. What I'm gonna watch them for? The same thing is gonna happen. And, and say they say they win the next. Four, how many games we got? Four or five games? Which is probably impossible. But say we win the next four or five games. And 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 happen, just so happen to make it in uh, get a wild card spot. They ain't gonna do nothing but go to the playoffs and lose. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, really, dog. You know, and and, and I, I just want to know when did winning go out the window? When did it go? Where did it go? Because you, you got right up the street here, about 15 minutes away. If that, uh, you got the star in Frisco. I've said this before. State of the art. Beautiful. Million, probably billion dollar structure. Then you go get on uh, the freeway right here. About 30 minutes away, 30, 35 minutes, depending on traffic. You got uh, Jerry's World, all the AT&T Stadium. Beautiful. One of the best stadiums in the league right now. Million, probably billion dollars. Who knows? And this is what we get. It looks like garbage when you're not winning. Looks like garbage. It don't matter. You can have all this stuff, but if you're not winning, it looks like crap. Just like Bill Cosby said, he said, hey, uh, look here, man, uh, what, what favorite food you like? Oh, man, shoot, you know what? I like steak. Oh, okay, you like steak, right? You like steak. Potatoes on the side, you know, mashed potatoes with a little gravy, steak with the A1 sauce, you know what I mean, high 57s or something. Hey, T-bone steak, thick, juicy, well done. You love it, right? Okay, all right. You want to roll on the side? Okay, yeah, you want to roll? How about a piece of pie? How about a piece of apple pie for dessert? Yeah, okay. Now, what if I serve you this steak with the roll, with the vegetables, with the with the uh, mashed potatoes and the gravy, uh, with the apple pie on the side? What if I put it on top of a garbage can lid? 
and say, here you go. You look at me like I'm crazy. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa what you doing? I'm giving you your steak with the, with the mashed potatoes and the gravy and the A1 sauce and, 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 the, and the black eyed peas and the, and, the, and the vegetables and the, and the apple pie on the side. Here you go, man. On the garbage can lid. Here you go. Eat it. You be like, oh, shit, I don't want that. That's the way I feel about the damn Dallas Cowboys right now and all this shit they got. We were the richest team in the NFL. Really? It don't mean shit when you're not winning. You play the game to win. That shit last night, that was horrible. Horrible. Everybody want to point the finger. Oh, I blame this person. I blame, oh God, I want to blame. Uh-uh. It's the damn coaching staff. As long as Jerry Jones is a two-headed monster, as long as they got Garrett, and I supported Garrett for years, but now I'm tired. I'm tired. As long as they got Garrett, as long as they got the offensive coordinator, defense coordinator, I can never remember their fucking names. And that's, a, that's a sign right there. They see now, they don't know what to do. The, the game has evolved. Like I said last night, it's passed them by. They still in cover two. They don't know how to change. I'm sitting there, I'm playing Madden, and I'm like, oh shit, I need to, I'm playing so and so, so and so. Let me switch. And that's a damn video game. And I got enough sense to know. I know it's just a game, but goddamn. Come on, man. Really? Every week. It's like they turn it off and they turn it on again. You know, like we beat Kansas City. One of the best teams. Well, at that time, they were one of the best teams in the league. Look what happened. That don't matter. We lost last night. We lost the night before. I mean, the uh, weekend before. I don't get it, man. You know, you know matter of fact, I'm going to stop saying it. I do get it. That's why I say, as fans, Cowboy Nation, we in trouble. Because we don't know what we're cheering for. You tell me. Oh, man, you're not a diehard Cowboy fan. Okay, what am I cheering for? Since I'm not a Cowboy fan, I don't know what I'm talking about. You tell me what I'm cheering for. Has has every player on that team got out there on that field and played that game with this, with heart? Jason Witten caught one pass yesterday. Cole Beasley caught one pass yesterday. Dez caught like 12 or 13 passes, I mean catches, but he only had six some yards. No touchdown. Uh, Terrence Williams, a grown-ass man in the NFL, still catching the ball with his pads. He's a body catcher. Ball bounce off, boom, up, oh, interception. You a grown-ass man, dog. Catch the ball with your hands. Remember the triangle? They teach you that shit in Pop Warner. Catch the ball with your hands, bring it in. Look it in, boom, bring it in. You still catching the damn ball with your pads. Really? Get out of here, man. Jason Garrett should have been on the hot seat a long time ago. A long damn time ago. Really? I, I remember uh, Jimmy Johnson said when Emma Smith was on that holdout, he, he deserved it. He, he felt like he got he should get paid, be the highest paid running back because Barry Sanders was. And Emma Smith won a Super Bowl, which he was right and got his money. But the guy that took his place, I think it was Derek Lassick or, or, or Simon Williams or somebody. And uh, he got in, he fumbled the damn ball. It's like, okay. He got in again, fumbled the damn ball again. Jimmy just said, man, you fumble that damn ball one more time, you gone. You fired. He fumbled again. Out of there. They don't exist no more. They don't make coaches like that no more. They got these soft-ass coaches. See, Jerry hired these soft-ass coaches like 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 Jason Garrett, where he can come over and take over and shit and talk to him like he got to tell when he want to. He ain't got no real coach in there. He never will have one in there. So as long as Jerry Jones is that two-headed monster, we're doomed, dog. So what are we cheering for every weekend? You tell me. I, I, I'm waiting. I can't wait to read the comments and say, oh, well, I think we're cheering for... You don't know either. We just represent the Cowboy fans because we like the Cowboys. That's it. 
They they, they haven't been a winning organization since two thousand since nineteen ninety five. So for for the past twenty two years, please somebody please tell me what the hell we've been cheering for. Oh man, I'm a cowboy fan. Okay, why? I can't tell. If somebody asks me why, I can't tell them. I don't think I can say, well, I've been a Cowboy fan ever since 1980, and, you know, uh, we won, you know, five Super Bowls, two in the 70s, three in the 90s, should have been four in the 90s, but that's the only argument I have. That's the, that's the only argument I got. I can't say, well, we went to the playoffs last year. Well, we went to the playoffs the year before. Well, we, we went we went to the AFC, in the AFC I mean, uh, NFC Championship last year. Oh, we went to the NFC Championship the year before. Man, we've been, we've been, you know, New England can say that. We can't. So please, somebody, please tell me what the hell we've been cheering, what, what the hell have we been doing for 22 years as a fan base, as Cowboy Nation? And we got we play in three days. Well, yeah, we play in three. We play this Thursday on Thanksgiving. Once again, another nationwide game, a game that we should win because the Chargers are not that good. But I guarantee you. I guarantee you, I'd be shocked if we won, but I guarantee you, we'd find a way to win me uh, to lose. But this is what Dallas, this is what Cowboy Nation is all about, you know. And I'm gonna still support my Cowboys just because of the love of the game, the sport, because I've played it, and I love the game. I love the people. I love the atmosphere. I love football. Football is the greatest sport of all time. And we'll go down when 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 God says, OK, uh, I, the, the, the world is ending. I'll be up in heaven. Up oh, cowboy. I'm a cowboy fan. Oh, well, well you know. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm really not I'm, I'm really not making this video to talk about the season or talk about, you know, how did yesterday win or anything like that. I just I'm really scared for us Cowboy fans and what we're cheering for, what we're putting our heart and soul into. That's all. Please leave comments. Let me know what you think.